Hello and welcome to another edition of Expression Web. You know, we haven't made a uh, video in a while. I uh, apologize for that. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to thank everyone for subscribing. You know, we really got some uh, great comments that we really appreciate. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're, we're trying to, um, you know, uh, listen to the requests that we're getting. And uh, one of the requests we've gotten is, uh, actually it was kind of funny, but it's it's actually a pretty good comment. And uh, it's, uh, I guess it's scup856 said, thanks, this was exactly what I was looking for. Now the question is, how do I make a site that doesn't look like a template? <laughs> and that's a, that's a really great comment because um, we're very sensitive to the fact that uh, the templates have a, a kind of look to them that you know doesn't look like uh, what you look like on our own this was uh, our website itself wasn't built off of a template but that's how we got started learning how to build websites and what we found is that the templates are really the the best way to start because what you can do is it teaches you how to the website is constructed and then uh, you can eventually just start swapping things out to where it is customized. But um, taking into account SCUP856 comment, um, we realize the the expression the, the templates that come with Expression Web, even though they can be customized, that uh, that you can use. Uh, there are other templates outside of Expression Web, and uh, one one of those would be. Uh, freecsstemplates.org and so what we thought we'd uh, try to do today to give you an idea of how you can create a more modern looking template is by going to this site freecsstemplates.org and uh, and using one of theirs and there's a little bit uh, more involved with that because you've got to uh, create a master uh, dynamic web template and then from there you kind of rebuild the pages and then uh, but you do end up with a, a website that is a template that looks a lot more modern than the web uh, the templates that come with expression web so uh, the neat, neat thing about this is uh, if you read down here what she says is uh, they're they're free so she says um, right here all of my templates are free for any personal or commercial use uh, provided you follow the license so you do not have to pay me anything for them all I ask is that you link back to their the website um, so uh, let's look at this template a little closer I'm just gonna use this one as an uh, example for today's uh, tutorial um, this is a uh, actually we've already gotten our hands on it and uh, modified it a little bit but um, what she's talking about is a link back is down here on the bottom in the footer. She just asks that you leave that intact. But other than that, you're free to use the, the the template for any commercial purpose. So that's pretty cool. And as you'll see, this this site does look more modern than the template that comes with uh, Expression Web. So this is probably, if you're looking for something that doesn't look like a, a template that doesn't look like a template, um, these ones at free... Uh, Free CSS uh, templates .org. Actually, they don't they don't look like that. They kind of look like more blog, uh, WordPress kind of sites. But um, the same concept applies. Is that when you're getting started, you know, you can learn to swap out the features and customize them to where these templates don't look like templates. Trying to build a, a website. Uh, another reason we advocate for the templates is that trying to build a website from scratch is really requires the highest level of uh, skill. So that's why we like the templates. Uh, so let's uh, get started. I guess the big news, uh, if there is big news to be had, uh, is that they already have Expression Web uh, number four out. So uh, the good thing is, is that if you've got Expression Web three. It's, you can upgrade to Expression Web 4 uh, for free. So if you got 3, you can get 4 for free. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I think that's a pretty good thing. Uh, it seems to be taking a little while to, to boot up here. But um, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use one of those uh, templates from the that site, the free CSS template.org. So... Uh, 
So let's get started. So uh, when you start uh, Expression Web uh, 4, we're using, uh, you know, sometimes it'll come up with a page. So uh, you want to close that out. So you come over here and you'll go close. So you blank that out. So the first thing we want to do is create a folder to put the template site into. So that's where we come over to site, uh, new site. And uh, this is going to be an empty site. And all this is doing is creating a folder. This one is going to be auto named my site too, but you could call it anything you wanted to. Uh, just call it, let's call it free template. Uh, and then just go OK. And all that does is create a folder in which to put it. Now let's go, uh, let's go, we've already downloaded that uh, file. And uh, when you get it, what it'll say is if we have Windows 7, you just extract it. And uh, you can extract it. And it, well, it's asking me to go through all this stuff, but uh, basically, it, once you you right click and you go extract, um, and then it'll create it as a, in its folder. And if we click click on that, it has all the f files needed to get started with building it uh, in there. So you've got an image folder, you've got a sample page for license, and then a style sheet. So um, so once that's downloaded. Uh, onto your site we can go back into expression web and this is the empty folder that we just created so then we come into file we'll go down to import file folder and this is going to take us uh, we're looking for our desktop that's where I downloaded it to and it, uh, it's called enormous so we go OK and this is all the files from that template site and what it's done now is it's it's actually pulled it all into Expression Web, but it's in a folder. What I want to do is actually get all those files out of that folder. So what I'll do is I'll just expand this, and we're just going to drag all of this, uh, all of the files and folders that were in the enormous folder out of that enormous folder, and then we're going to get rid of the enormous folder because we don't need it. It was just a storage container to bring the to import the files and folders into Expression Web. Uh, so now uh, here we go. Now let's take a look at the site. Uh, we just double click on index here in the folder list, and let's go into Split View where we can take a look at it. And uh, just for the kicks, uh, I'm hitting F12 on the keyboard to preview it and see what it looks like. Okay, so this looks like a pretty uh, modern looking website to me uh, looks pretty cool uh, looks slicker you know than the templates that come with expression web and uh, so we're just gonna play around with this so that's what it looks like so now what we're gonna do is we've got to create a master dynamic web template and the reason for that is that basically um, becomes a in itself it becomes a, a template actually from which we can build all those um, pages for this website now this um, website is actually a six page website so you've got a home page a blog page photos about links and contacts so we're gonna have to build each one of these six um, pages the the index page is already built um, but actually what we're gonna do is use the index page to build a dynamic web template and then we're going to turn around and rebuild all six pages for the websites and then and then link them all together so at the end of the day we'll have a, a fully functioning six page website 